Hey everybody, it's Zach from VR Forum. Um, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you how to get Alien Isolation working with your Oculus Rift DK2. Thankfully it's pretty easy to do, it just takes copying and pasting a little code snippet into a XML file in your Alien Isolation folder. And to get to that folder you want to start off in your Steam Games directory. And once you have that open you want to go to Steam Apps then common and then find alien isolation then data and then from there you want to go down to engine settings.xml and open that with your text editor of choice I'm gonna use wordpad in this case okay and in the description of the video the code snippet that you're gonna to need to paste in is there um, basically you want to find a section that says setting name equals stereo mode and on top of the default option there, go ahead and paste in the code snippet so it should look like this. Uh, quality name equals riff, precedence equals four. And then you just want to save that and close out. And then you want to make sure that you pause the service in your configuration utility here. So go to tools, advanced, pause service, pausing the OVR service there. And then once you have that done, you want to open up your um, screen resolution settings and select Rift DK2 and make sure you set that as your main display, click apply, and then you should be ready to go. Um, boot up Alien Isolation and see if it works. If you notice that it freezes right away or nothing's happening, then you probably have an older AMD processor and what you're going to need to do is unplug your positional tracking camera to get that uh, working properly. That's what I had to do. Um, if you have a newer processor, like an i5, i7, something like that, uh, you should have no problem getting positional tracking working. Um, it may show, or the light on your camera may not be on, but from the reports that I've heard that it's working no matter what. So who knows why the Alien Isolation devs decided to leave this out of the game. Um, maybe it just ended up being too much of a hassle for them, or maybe they plan on releasing it later with better support. Um, who knows, either way it's working and it's actually pretty damn cool, pretty damn playable. I checked it out a little bit earlier. Um, anyways guys, I hope that helped you out. If so, go ahead and subscribe and maybe come check out the forum and talk to me there. You guys have a good one.